Hello everyone, once again we have a coin, a dollar from United States of America or USA and this is uh, Sakagawea commemorative I think mm, but they just called it uh, Sakagawea uh, Sakagawea Sakagawea dollar this is a one dollar in value and this is also a manganese brass and uh, clad copper or the dip it in, in copper this is a 8.1 grams at 26.5 millimeter and thickness is 2 millimeter this is a round and uh, a milled I don't know if it's a milled no just the ordinary and this is standard coin a value of one dollar and the the means are Philadelphia if there is no letter on it on the mint area or mint position and the letter D is from Denver and S is for San Francisco and the standard weight of all base metal dollar issued since 2015 is uh, 125 grains I don't know how how heavy is that uh, converted into grams I don't know and this is from 2000 until 2008 they they made a light of varieties uh, reverse of 2000 reverse of 1999 i don't know uh, they call it a rare uh, on the 2000p and the one of the rare coins are the 2000p a wounded eagle by an arrow uh, you can see it a lot of that on the internet and especially here in YouTube and there is a lot of fruit also a year 2000 s a 2001 s a 2002 s a 2003 s 2004 s a 2005 s a 2006 s uh, all of those uh, coins that has a letter s on its mint mark are proof uh, it means came from Francisco, Francisco San Francisco mint and uh, there is also a satin finish and a proof finish I don't know which is which which is uh, most expensive but the expensive one are the proof uh, finish because only few of them are made and let us uh, see this coin first this is the obverse I think yes this is the obverse the Sakagawea uh, 1788 to 1812 uh, Shusho native of uh, American American native and, uh, and as a translator and guide to the Lewis and Clark expedition uh, with her son on the back of his uh, with her son uh, Jean Baptiste Charbonneau and the date to the right here at is a 2000 P and there is a lettering a uh, Liberty in God we trust 2000p what is G? Ah, okay GG is for the engraver I didn't know I can't find where is the GG here let me find it cannot find it only the mint mark 2000p for Philadelphia and uh, I think this is the let us check if it is the rare or common one oh this is the common one because you can find a arrow here at the belly of the eagle and those are the what do you call this the rare one you know what i have a lot of this i don't know where did i put or i misplaced or i lost it i have a lot of this 
uh, and I just bought it for a 50 cents in the local market or in the street vendor hey, right here on the back there is a United States of America a pluribus unum and one dollar and there is a mint Initial, I think here at the tail, bottom of the tail. I cannot read it, it's too close. The lights, I think. And uh, on the other hand, there is a one dollar Sakagawea uh, only on year 2000, and the mint mark is W for. Washington or Wisconsin Washington I think Washington a letter W on the mint mark but this one I don't know. no there's no letter in here only here 2000 P and uh, the 2000 W or the fruit are the gold coins and they minted uh, only 39 pieces of it those are gold coins and the weight are the 16.9 or nearly 17 grams it is a gold day 9.9167 gold I don't know nearly uh, nearly 22k 24k is it maybe 24k and all of those are patterns uh, year 2000 I one dollar also round but they made it uh, gold so on june 1999 uh, the u.s mint uh, test uh, struck or uh, tested or made a 39 pieces of roof of sakagawi dollars in 24 karat gold okay 24 karat gold uh, planchets uh, these gold planchets were uh, 27 mm or millimeter wide and were uh, composed of uh, one 9.9167 fine gold so it's a pure 22 karat gold or fine gold and uh, these are uh, same planchets currently used to strike the 25 dollar uncirculated gold eagles i haven't uh, seen that 25 dollar it's so expensive i think the coins uh, carry a w min mark and this one here we have, we have here is a the P or Philadelphia this is a common coin in circulation and since the coins were originally intended to be struck at the West Point Mint uh, located in New York uh, the Mint's uh, original plan was to sell the 22 karat gold Sakagawe dollars to the public however that idea was uh, eventually squashed or uh, scratched by the government uh, instead of melting all 39 coins the mint choose the 12 best looking examples for future uh, displaying purposes and melted the remaining 27 coins the 12 uh, survive, uh, surviving co examples uh, were uh, later sent uh, 1.8 million miles into outer space aboard the space shuttle columbia uh, to commemorate the Aileen Collin uh, as the first female US astronauts what a damn government uh, wasted a lot of money minting a gold coin just to put it in space throw it in the air and as the first uh, female US astronaut Aileen Collin uh, first female astronaut uh, to be commemorated a commander on a space shuttle flight on August 31, 2001. The 12 were uh, transported to Fort Knox to safekeeping. I don't know if they safekeep that or they min they minted it or they sell it to somebody. On August 10, 2007, the coins were briefly removed from. Uh, uh, Fort Knox to be displayed at the American Numismatic Association World Fair of Money in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, 
So that's it guys and uh, that's the story behind the Sakagawiya coin and if you want to know the Sakagawiya the portrait here of a mother and child you can find it on the internet and uh, it's a very interesting story about the Lewis and Clark uh, expedition she is the one who helped uh, translate uh, the native Indian uh, language into English I don't know or French back then so that's it guys and uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe thank you and bye bye